What's going on, y'all? Wolf back with another reaction. We're about to get into some more Naruto Man. Uh, last couple episodes, we had Hinata Hyuga versus Neji Hyuga. Um, Neji was pretty dominant. Um, apparently, he's more skilled in not only um, uh, the, the the gentle fist, the uh, the other type of taijutsu, uh, the, r r rather than the the furious fist that uh, Rock Lee and Guy use. Um, they use the, the gentle fist, which pretty much um, it targets. They target your chakra points that they see through the, through the Byakugan, you know, which is pretty crazy. So while while Rock Lee and Guy's Taijutsu is like they could fucking you know outfight you if you get hit once by Neji, it's like a devastating hit. It's like a haymaker, even if he just like fucking you know points one figure at one of your chakra points i mean that chakra point is now like disabled you know what i'm saying so pretty deadly fighting style man um i can i i can now imagine why rock lee said he was the strongest because it's honestly a pretty bad matchup for any close combat user to go up against neji because i mean if you get, if you get hit by him that's a that's, that's a big deal it only took him two hits to take out hinata you know what i'm saying so and she had, if anything, she had the style to counter it, which is the same style. Because it seems like the strongest had Taijutsu style at the moment. Gentle Fist. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, also, they they were mentioning a lot about um, the uh, the Hyuga head family and the branch family. And uh, there seems to be some tension there. Uh, it's that it, it, it seems like Hinata is part of the head family, uh, which I assume is the privileged part. And... Uh, he, he, uh, Neji is a part of the Branch family, so I'm wondering why. I'm, da I'm now wondering the backstory and what's what's behind that because, I mean, as soon as Hinata triggered him by saying, you know, um, that he's more he's struggling more than her, you know, uh, he 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 straight up tried to kill her after that. So there's definitely some 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 bad blood and some tension, and uh, I would love to know the backstory on that. So I'm sure they'll they'll, they'll explain that later. Um, but it, it was kind of funny because so so before the episode uh, and after the episode my opinions on both of the the characters hinata and neji had changed pretty dramatically like I, I definitely gained a lot more respect for hinata because she seemed very frail and fragile and just not the fighting type um but she does have that inner she does have that dog in her as we saw during the fight you know she really tried to win and she didn't she didn't give up she kept getting up even after getting hit by those fucking bloody haymakers to the chakra points and to her organs. Apparently your chakra points are attached to your organs, so they could even target that shit. So uh, that, that, that fighting style is crazy. Um, but also Neji, uh, before the episode, I was like, damn, this dude's hella strong. He's a, and, he, and he's like a badass, you know, he talks strict. I like him. And after the episode, I don't really like him that much. He seems like a cocky little asshole bastard. You know, one of those kids that sure is strong at the moment, but um, they think that you know they think they're the shit, you know. And he he express and he not only uh, ex expresses that through um, his fighting style, but he also tries to beat you down by saying just how worthless you are, like how he was doing to Hinata. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I definitely want to see his ass get beat. Sure, I recognize his strength. Of course, he's strong, gentle fist user. Byakugan user. Sure, he's very strong, but I definitely want to see his ass get beaten out because I don't really fuck with that shit, you know. Um, so yeah, and now I believe we have, who do we have left? We have we got Gara, we got Choji, we got the Sound Village person that I can't remember his name, and we got uh, Rock Lee. That's, I believe that's the only four left. Um, so I want Gara and Rock Lee to advance to the finals. So, I don't want them to fight each other. Well, Gara needs to fight either Choji or the Sound Village guy. Same thing with Rock Lee, so we can see Gara and Rock Lee go to the finals. And then for their finals, we're gonna have a sick ass finals. We're gonna have, uh, I guess, nine, there's, there's gonna be nine of us because Sakura and Ino had a draw. It's gonna be Sasuke, Naruto, Neji, Gara, Rock Lee, Kankuru, Tamari, Shikamaru. Um, I'm missing someone. Anyway, yeah, that's a sick final. That would be so sick to watch. Um, so yeah. Anyway, 
let's go ahead and get into it, man. Uh, but before we get into these Naruto episodes, I need you guys to do me a favor. Hit the like, hit the sub. Eventually, I'm going to watch your favorite anime or TV show on this channel right here. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that shit. And without further ado, let's get into these Naruto episodes, man. No! Fuck. Well... Shit, this is... I wanted these two to make it to the finals, bro. Fuck. Whatever. It's still probably gonna be a good-ass fight, but... Damn. That sucks. That means one of them's not gonna make it to the finals. Oh well. Alright, so I'm definitely rooting for Lee, but I'm feeling like Gara is stronger. So there's my... <laughs> there's my pre-fight analysis. <laughs> Damn. I remember Conqueror talking about Gara's absolute defense. Fuck. From what I remember, that episode where Gara did his shit, he has high offensive and defensive capabilities. So how the fuck are we gonna get through that sand? <laughs> shit. Damn. Gar doesn't even, doesn't even have to move, bro. He just has his sand do the work for him. Shit. Hmm. No one has been able to injure Gara, huh? I mean, I know he knew he's only like 15 years old, but still, that's 15 years worth of not being scratched. What? This gets crazy. Why is he wearing ankle weights in a fight with Gara? Alright, how, how heavy are they? Oh my god. I legit got chills when that happened. Oh shit! Wait, he was... Was he wearing ankle weights this whole time? So he was that fast with those fucking 10-ton ankle weights on? Oh my goodness. Okay, Gar is actually looking a little bit fuzzled right now. Oh, he's fucking fast. Oh! Wait, he hit him! Didn't Conqueror just say no one has ever hit Gara? He hit him again! Holy shit, alright. This might be a better fight than I thought. Wait, there's no way Neji can keep up with him. Nah, Rock Lee's stronger than Neji. What the fuck? Oh no. Pissed him off. He pissed him off. Gara was already naturally angry. Now that he's gotten hit, 
Oh no. What? Ew, what? Oh, does he have like a passive sand shield? Oh shit. So we didn't injure him yet. <laughs> we hit him though. Oh shit! Ay, ay. Bro, that takes so much agility and strength to do that. Can we get him? Pretty obvious. But here's the problem. Lee used. Does, doesn't the Lotus use like a lot of physical strength and shit? So now what? Like, supposed to be like a last resort technique on some shit. Fucking evil ass, bro. <laughs> Damn. Give Lee, um, who has the food pills? Go throw Lee a food pill real quick. Damn. Yeah, Lee can't move the way he used to move. Because of that fucking Lotus move. Shit, shit, shit. It's over. It was really cool, though. Definitely, probably the best fight in the tuning exam so far. A thousand squats? Five thousand punches? This is way more than the, than the one punch man workout. <laughs> Two thousand jump ropes? Wait, what the fuck? This is way too much. That's a lot of training, even for an anime character. <laughs> Neji and Rock Lee's relationship is very similar to Sasuke and Naruto's, where Sasuke and Neji are the talented ones and. Rock Lee and Naruto are like the hardworking ones. Nice little contrast. Alright, well. Does Lee got anything left in the tank, man? It doesn't look like it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this gets scary. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. 
だが今じゃ天才エリートカカシとの勝負でも勝ち越している努力したからだたとえ忍術や現実が使えなくても立派な忍者になれることを証明して Hearing what Guy just said, I want to know what his fighting style is. He just said he could go head up with Kakashi. That's pretty damn hard. Oh! Well, he's good all of a sudden? The fuck? Did he get that random power up that you get in anime? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> the eight inner gates? What? Wait, Lee has another attack he can use? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I like how the gate of death's on the heart. Oh, wow. So he can. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So he has, he still has two, three, four, five gate left to open. Oh my god. Oh shit. So how strong is he gonna become? Oh my god, I thought I le I legit thought the fight was over, bro. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. He's really about to go Super Saiyan on his ass. Yup, his skin and hair are changing. Oh my god. He got a tan. Oh shit, he's got an aura. Let's go, Lee. Oh, he's opening more! <gasps> oh, oh! Dude, look at this! He looks like... I can't even explain what he looks like. Nah, nah, that's too. <laughs> that was dope. The fucking ping pong shit in the air. He's that fast now? Oh my god. Yo, Lee might actually win this, bro. Is that his bones breaking? Oh shit. Oh my 
He's opening one more. <sighs> no, he's not a human anymore. Lee's a fucking god. Oh no, Neji's not. A, the, Rock Lee would have easily beaten Neji, bro. That's what I'm feeling like. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Even when he's moving still, it's like he's moving fast. That does not take Gara out. Then I don't know what to say. Dude, so all his muscles are torn up right now? Is that what you're telling me? That was it. That was the trump card. That was the ace in the hole. If that doesn't work, bro. It's just unfair. Fuck. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, the sand broke his fall. Come on, man. And all he has to do is go like this to, to cast his jutsu. Like. Dude, Lee shouldn't even be able to move right now, bro. His muscles are torn out. God damn it, man. This sucks, dude. Oh no. It's our- he's already hurt! That's it. Unconscious. Call the fight. Call the fight. I don't want him to die. Thank you, guy. Dude, that sucks. You telling me he lost after all that effort? Really, man? That sucks, bro. I really feel for dude. I really feel for him. Tough. So, so. Go. What? How is he still standing? Dude. I really hate that he lost. Look at him. Hey, Loki, I'm getting uh, pretty emotional right now. <laughs> He's unconscious. Mm. Bro, 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 bro. He's unconscious and he stood up, bro. that fair and square no cap it's just it hurts so much to see just anyone lose like that when they put literally all they had like that's the definition of putting all of your all into something that sucks 
He's unconscious, bro. Oh my god. Shut up, bitch. He almost did. He would have beat your ass. For real, though. I feel like Rockley would have beat literally everyone else. Except for Gara. Damn. Don't do it, Naruto. I thought Naruto was about to swing on him. <laughs> Alright. So he ain't dead, because he stood up fucking unconsciously. But he's definitely hurt. I wouldn't be surprised if he's like in a coma, coma right now. Uh, nah. Nah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. There's no way. There's, there's no way. I want to see Rockley fight again. There's no fucking way. Oh yeah, we, <laughs> we still have one more fight. <laughs> I'm tripping. I thought I thought it was over. Alright, let's go, Choji. Choji, 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 Choji. Alright. Y'all. Alright. Uh shit all right dude before i say anything definitely want to recognize that as the best fight the best episodes so far like the best fight you know easily not there's no question no question no question uh naruto haku sasuke zabuza kakashi was cool that was a cool fight this is easily the best fight so far. No question. Absolutely no question. Wow. That sucks, man. It's really hard to, to see not even just anime characters. Anyone put so much effort blood, sweat, tears into just achieving something so minuscule as a tournament win. It's just a tournament win, you know? In the grand scheme of things, at the end of the day, it's just a match. He didn't have to win that. He had to sacrifice his fucking body and future career as a ninja to win that. He ain't gotta do that. No, you just wait till next year. Unlucky draw. You got Gara, the fucking crazy kid that with the invincible sand. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. He probably would have beat anyone else. Easily. Even Neji. Neji wouldn't have stand, stood a chance against the fucking Hidden Lotus. No way. He would have beat anyone else. He just had to... He had to get Gara. That's tough, bro. That's tough. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Well, well, honestly, what, what really did it for me? Um, there were so many moments. There was, let's start from the beginning. There was the ankle weights. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> that shit weighed like two tons. The ankle weights part, the and the the even more speed part when he when he finally hit Gara. Um, the primary lotus substitution jutsu by Gara. Um, Unlocking the hidden gates, obviously. Um, but honestly, the part that hit me hard, that hit me the hardest, was when he was still trying to fight, unconscious, standing up with a broken arm and a broken leg, unconsciously. Dude, that actually like, like a did, 
straight up put a dagger through my shit. That one hit me, bro. I'm sure it did for you guys, too. When you first saw this. Fuck, man. That's tough, bro. That's tough. That's super tough, man. Um, so, I do like how they showed his backstory on, um, he really is just a fucking Taijutsu user and legit. His, his workout routine was like 20 times harder than the One Punch Man workout routine. <laughs> a thousand squats, 5,000 punches, 5,000 kicks, 2,000 jump ropes. Jesus Christ. That's pretty intense. So he's been training like that every day, every day pretty much, yeah? With a few days of rest here and there. All right. Also, one thing I'm wondering is... Um, I mean, I've kind of been wondering this this whole time. Uh, Guy, that's the second time he said that he's able to beat Kakashi. Uh, I'm wondering what what he, is he also like a, a, a Taijutsu user, or is he like more than that? Because I don't know, he, they're making him out to just be an older version of Rock Lee. That's what I'm getting at. Like, for example, if if Guy taught Rock Lee how to unlock the hidden gates, doesn't Guy know how to do that as well? A Taijutsu technique, you know what I'm saying? So. That's what I'm wondering. Because if that's the case, then that'd be really cool too. Um, but damn. I don't know if I'm going to go over this one for a little bit, y'all. This one actually hit me pretty hard. Pretty hard. Out of all the three animes that I'm watching, four animes that I'm watching right now, Got a High School, Hunter x Hunter, Bleach, and Naruto this, these, this string of episodes, this, this fight definitely hit me the hardest. For sure. I can say that confidently. Which is good because I was kind of worried there. Um, Naruto be doing things that annoy me sometimes. They be, they be, you know, strength, uh, length, lengthening the length, lengthening the episodes uh, unnecessarily. They be showing flashbacks I really don't give a fuck about. <laughs> Sakura Ino. Um, they be stretching out the dialogue too long. They be panning out to people's faces like ksh, 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 too long. But this fight, they didn't do any of that. I enjoyed every single every single second of it. So. Well done. Well done. Damn, bro. That's tough. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take me a little while to get over this for sure. Perhaps the next few episodes will, uh... I totally forgot there was a 10th fight. <laughs> Choji and the Sound Village guy? I completely... Oh, man. It's like that fight doesn't even matter. Gar and Rock Lee was just... Just the, the epitome. If you know what I mean. Alright, well, so we're rooting for Choji, obviously. Then after that fight... Then we got our finals, man. Then we got our fucking finals. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely looking forward to those. Obviously, very sad. Rock Lee is not a part of it. I, I would have loved him. I would have loved if they didn't pit. I mean, just when the when the episode began, and they showed Gar versus Rock Lee, I was I was like, no, because I wanted both of them to make it. Because I I knew both of them were strong. But they had to get each other. That's so unlucky, bro. That's like Rock Lee is a de Rock Lee. That that whole fight with Rock Lee and Gar was a definition of fucking. You can put your your whole and you can put all your eggs into one basket, you know, and try super hard and outwork everyone, but you might get fucked at the end of the day. And that's how life is, bro. Life ain't fair. That shit can really happen instantly. Everything can be on the up and up. You know what I mean? But if you just get him lucky once, boom, that's over. And now they're saying Rock Lee can't become a shinobi anymore? Nah. Nah. See, I don't believe that because that was the best fight so far. And it would be a bad decision if they didn't have Rock Lee fight again. So, I'm calling it that there's, he's going to come back. I mean, he, he's a worker bee, so he definitely will... Um, you know, go through all that physical therapy, whatever he needs to go through to get back into his shape. Because I refuse to believe they're not going to have Rock Lee fight again after watching that. Um, how to sum up the this fight with one word? Amazing. That's the easy one. I'm trying to think of a cool word for you guys. Um, strenuous? I mean, I don't know. There's so many adjectives that I can say, but I th I'm, I'm feeling sad though. That's what's fucked up. That's a hype ass fight. I was like, <laughs> but, but at the end I'm feeling sad. 
just because I know, just because of the the results. Okay, well, it's funny. These last two fights were um, obvious underdogs, and they went out, you know, in a pretty sad way. You know what I'm saying? Like Hinata gave it her all. I feel like too, but she ended up she couldn't beat the talent. Rock Lee, he couldn't beat the talent. That's tough, bro. So Naruto's getting Naruto's. <laughs> it's actually giving a great lesson here, man. Don't work too damn hard, because honestly, that shit's probably not gonna be worth it. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, cool, dude. Very, very solid. Very solid episodes. Um, I do want to see Gar get his ass beat. Obviously, who's that gonna be? No one can beat him though, <laughs> honestly. None of these Genins can beat him. Not Sasuke, not Naruto, not Neji. How is Neji gonna get close to the sand? N N Neji is not faster than Rock Lee. He's not getting getting past that sand. So, yeah, I don't know. I think a Jonin's gonna have to jump Gara or some shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Also, that whole time, um, Gara's team was, was was talking like, "Oh no, he's gonna go crazy. His other side is gonna is gonna go crazy. Oh no!" Like, what are the, what are they talking about? You know, does does Gara have an e an even eviler alter ego or some shit? I don't know. That's the, the, they just kept emphasizing on Gara's other side going crazy. I, 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 I didn't really understand it. So, maybe, maybe they'll allude to that in the future episodes. But okay, um, I'm definitely rambling on too much here. It's just um. That was definitely fire episodes, and I, I just want to talk as long as I can about it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so you guys can just feel everything that I'm feeling about those episodes, which is all over the place. Hype, anger, sadness, remorse. I mean, I'm ready to fight myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Alright, man, if you guys uh, enjoyed those episodes of Naruto, if you enjoyed Rock Lee vs. Gar as much as I did, make sure you smash the like, smash the sub. I'm out of here, man.